for 5,000 years, every single culture and every single religion has defined marriage as a man and a woman. Not just Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism. If science finds yeah. that this is biological, yeah. indisputably, not something that can be explained in any other way except that people are born yeah. to be gay, right. would you change your position? No, and the reason why, why? is... Why? I'd be happy to tell you why. The reason why is because it doesn't matter to me. If it's biological, I'm, that's, we'll be glad to know. We all have biological predispositions. And some people struggle with anger, and other people say, I don't struggle with anger, but I sure struggle with fear. And some people say, well, I don't struggle with this, I struggle with being shy. You're saying if it's part of your biology, it's your job to struggle against it, if in fact it's the wrong thing. Well, here, here's what I'm saying. I've had many gay friends tell me, well, Rick, why shouldn't I have multiple sexual partners? It's the natural thing to do. Well, just because it seems natural doesn't mean it's best for you or society. I'm naturally inclined to have sex with every beautiful woman I see. But that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. And why should I rein in my natural impulses? And you say, well, because I have natural impulses toward the same sex, I shouldn't have to rein them in. Well, I disagree. I think that's part of maturity. I think it's part of delayed gratification. I think it's part of character.